Appear All Year End 2022. Running your year end in Sage Payroll is easy. In this video, we will explain how to complete 2022 and prepare for your payroll year end, show you how to complete your year end and start 2023, including covering statutory sick pay. Let's look at preparing for year end and finalising your 2022 payroll. 2022 Leavers Before completing your final pay period of 2022, you should process any current year leavers. This means any leavers with a current tax year leave date should have received their final pay and be processed as a leaver in SAGE payroll. Extra pay periods If you run a weekly, fortnightly or full weekly payroll, you may have an extra pay period also known as week 53. You have an extra pay period if your regular pay date falls on Saturday the 31st of December 2022. You should not create an extra pay period if your usual pay date is not the 31st of December 2022. Simply process your payroll as normal, continuing with your usual pay date. Advancing holiday pay. As year-end falls over Christmas and New Year, it is likely that you will have employees on holiday at this time. Whether you can or can't use the advance pay option will depend on when your holiday dates fall. You can use the advance pay option if the advance pay period covers any weeks up to and including week 52. For example, you are processing week 51 and advancing week 52. If you do have a week 53, this should be processed separately and should not be included in an advanced holiday payment. You can't advance the holiday pay over two years. For example, you can't process week 52 and advance week 1. However, if your employees are on holiday over this period and you'd like to pay them early, you can pay each holiday week separately without using the advanced pay feature. If you choose to do this and you use PayPath or SEPA payment files, a payment file will be created for each week you've processed separately. One for each pay period. Processing your final pay. Before running your year end, you should process your final pay of the tax year and submit this to ROS as usual. Let's move on to the year end process. In this section, we'll cover how to prepare for and run your year end. Before running the year end, you should have processed and finalised all pay runs in the 2022 tax year. You can check this here and in the pay runs tab. We'd recommend running and reconciling your reports in Sage Payroll before running your year end. First, we'd recommend running the ROS Liability Report. This report shows a breakdown of liabilities for each period. The report will run monthly or quarterly depending on your revenue payment frequency. To run this report, click on Pay Runs, then click on any pay run within that tax month or quarter and you'll see your liability report here. This shows your liabilities for that period and can be reconciled against what you have paid to revenue. You can also reconcile this report against the Liability Totals report, which is accessible via the reporting menu. This report will give you the values for each individual pay period, whereas the ROS Liability report shows you a cumulative value for the month or quarter. Therefore, you may have to run this report several times for different pay periods to reconcile against your ROS liability report. Let's move on to the year end steps. From the menu, click year end. Before starting your year end, check the drop down here is showing the correct year. Step 1 of the payroll year end is to review your employee's pay. 
The purpose of this step is to check values and make any necessary corrections before the payroll year end is completed. To get started, choose Review Employee Pay. You'll see a list of all employees paid in this tax year and their gross and net pay to date. To view more detailed information and the option to view their pay slip, click View Details. You can export this or return to the list of employees. Once you have checked each employee and you're happy that everyone has been paid correctly in 2022, click Return to Year End. You can then tick the box to confirm that this step is complete. Step 2 of the payroll year end is the employee details statement. This report can be given to your employees to reconcile against their official employment details summary provided by Revenue, also known as an EDS, which can be obtained from their My Account with ROS. Click Print Employee Statement to view the report for each employee one at a time Click next to the employee name. The report shows the employee year-to-date values. To export or print, choose Export to PDF. To go back, click Return to Employee List. You can also export all employees at once by clicking Export All. Click Return to Year End. Once you have completed both steps in the Year End tab, you have completed your Year End and you're ready to start processing in 2023. We'll now look at what's new for 2023. Statutory Sick Pay Statutory Sick Pay will be introduced for 2023. This will start at up to three days paid leave per employment, increasing to up to five days in 2024 and seven days in 2025. In 2026, this will increase to up to 10 paid sick days. Statutory sick pay is paid by the employer and is 70% of the usual wages up to a maximum of €110 Euros per day. To qualify for this, the employees must have worked for the employer for at least 13 weeks. A GP must certify that the employee is unfit to work. If you're unsure whether the employee qualifies for statutory sick pay, you can check the qualifying criteria with revenue. Let's look at how to set up and assign statutory sick pay to an employee. From the menu bar, click Settings. Then click Payments and Deductions. From here, click Create New Payment. From the drop down, choose Statutory Sick Pay, and the rest of the boxes will populate for you. To save these details, click Save. You have now created Statutory Sick Pay as a payment in Sage Payroll. This payment can be used for all employees and is not specific to one individual. If an employee is due statutory sick pay, you can add this in the Edit Pay section of the Pay Run. To add this, choose the correct employee on the left, then hover over Add Payment. Choose Statutory Sick Pay. Enter all the information regarding the sick pay here. If you are unsure what to enter, you can find further information on our help files by clicking the Help option here. To record the statutory sick pay, click save and the payment will appear here. The statutory sick pay will be removed automatically in the next pay run. Legislation for 2023. All changes to cut-off rates, tax credits, USC and PRSI will be automatically applied in the programme on retrieval of the RPN from revenue. In 2023, minimum wage will increase to €11.30 Euros per hour. If required, amend payment rates within the Edit Pay section of payroll to reflect this. If your digital certificate is due to expire, you can renew this with ROS. For more information, help and guidance, please visit www.revenue.ie 
and search for Renew Digital Certificate. You have now learned how to prepare for and process your payroll year-end in Sage Payroll.